Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Browns drive about to get started. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down and four, Watson looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at their 38. Throwing his Cousins. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw, Cousins. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Greg Newsom. And the Browns are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over. the 20-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Carlton Davis picks it. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. The Browns drive about to get started. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. And Chubble try the middle here. And he'll get this up to about the 40. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now to this point. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain? Or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41-yard line. To throw is Watson. And he finds Beasley complete. 
And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, but it could have gone for more. They go with Chubb on second down, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. And again, it's Chubb. And he stopped immediately there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Second down, here's Chubb again. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Watson now to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. York able to send this one through, and they get a little bit closer here as the lead's down to three touchdowns. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet, at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. But he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On third down, Cousins. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And here's Ryan right now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here's Beasley. 56 yards the punt that time, 12 on the return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. The Browns drive about to get started. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. To throw on second and six, Watson. And my goodness, another interception. 
picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Vikings are going to take over at their own 41. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not in a million years, but here we go. Throwing on second and eight. Cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. Woo! Justin Jefferson, 57 yards. And the Vikings are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because... They're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Faking the give. Now Watson on the move to his left. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, obviously, you never want to fumble, but if you do, good to be towards the sideline and saves them the possession. Saves the embarrassment, saves it going down on the play sheet as a turnover, but I still think it should go to the defense, even if they don't recover it. If you give up the football, you gave up the football. Yeah, I agree to disagree, I guess. <laughs> Can you tell what I played? Yeah, you played defense. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you go. I took a shot. Out to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 89 yards rushing now for Chubb and a first down as well. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A give. This is Chubb. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Now Chubb running right, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coaches are happy along the sideline. 
because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. They'll try again with Chubb. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. The Vikings get a signal for their first to their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Third and goal. Try to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. They'll give it to Chubb. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. Touchdown, Browns. Anthony Schwartz, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. here Cousins throw left side taken in by Jefferson the Vikings going to use their third and final timeout that'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside continuing to keep their foot on the gas and it looks like they're just having fun out there they're loose they're free and they're enjoying what the scoreboard looks like I'd have to say I agree with you totally they're having a blast out there all game long when they throw the football they're picking up nice chunks of real estate, significant yardage on just about every throw that they make. And there's another one there, and they continue to have that fun that you just talked about. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Cousins. Eluding the pressure right. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And when you break it down, well, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there.